Welcome back to my channel. And what we have today is a FPV goggle set, which I received from Banggood. And I am going to assemble it and show you guys how that is done. First things first, Let's open it up and see what arrived in the parcel. Uh, came in this plain packaging. I've taken it out of the original packaging and oh dear, was it quite a bit scrunched up. I'm going to just pop that one side. Now you can see the packaging has taken quite a bit of a beating, including this one. It looks like the label was completely ignored. Let's uh, see if the screen made it all the way from China. And, okay. There we go. That little package is empty. Now, this is as far as I know or believe is going to be our select a button set okay it does appear as if the screen did survive the travel now fortunately it's got a little bit of a harder back and uh yeah it's it's simple i'm not going to pull off this for now because uh we are going to be working with it quite a bit and um once I'm ready, I'll be pulling off the protector, but there's its little board onto which we will be putting the plugs and the selector switches, etc. But let's put that one side and see if the rest survived. Now this is the main box and uh, I must say <laughs> it, it took quite a bit of a beating. Open it up. And uh, we have a, I'm going to put that little one side. A little basic instruction sheet explaining how things basically work. All right, with this set, we did re receive this little patch antenna, standard receiver antenna. This uh, little cloverhead type on the inside, we are assuming. And pull that out. Oh, there's a little more inside. Ooh. Right. Some Velcro type sticky pads. The rest of the box there is empty. And this is the main body. As you can see, this is fairly almost, well, it is assembled. There's a sticker. This is where you would attach your antenna. The transmitter is already installed and we also have these little magnet tags here which we will show you. I will show you how to um, set that up later and how to use these little tags. Um, on this side with the head, head adjustments all velcro type to adjust the size. Strap seems has a bit of a stretch to it the face cushioning is also nice and soft. We have these little adjusters on the side so that you can adjust your focus. We're going to install the screen, the buttons, and we will be selecting our antenna based on what we need. Firstly, what I'd like to show you on the inside of uh, our goggles. Now yeah we have a cable and this cable is split into two parts. It connects to the transmitter here and uh, that little display is just for the channel number you will be using and this cable is split into two. The one will be going to our screen plug onto the back there and the other is for power. On the inside, we have these little magnetic tabs. 
Now this part is going to be used to stick onto the back of the screen, onto that part, which is going to keep the screen in place. Now you are probably going to be needing something like a, a, a super glue, we call it in South Africa, but uh, other parts of the world, um, a very strong type of glue. The next thing I want to do is um, just to see if this screen actually works. Now, the easiest way to see if the screen works is actually, <laughs> let's connect it up before we install it. And since this cable is already plugged in, now, if you received a unit with that cable not plugged in yet, do bear in mind, you plug it in, as you can see here. This cable with the yellow goes to the inside, and the, this side is the power cable, goes to this side. This side is going to plug into the screen. Looking at this connector, looking at this connector, I can say it connects this way around. So the yellow is to the inside of the board. Next, we are going to connect this button connector. Now, it seems some of these boards do differ. And depending on the board model that you have, this cable is going to be wired in such a way that you cannot plug this connector in the wrong way. So do not go according to the videos that you watch, but go according to the connector that you have. In my case, my connector on my buttons is red is on the inside here. And this connector of mine will only connect this way around with a red to the outside. Now, some of them show it with the connect the red on the inside. So do bear in mind, it depends on which board you receive. So yes, there we have ours. I am now going to turn this one around. We are going to bring our power closer. Here I have a little two cell battery. It's a 1200 milliamp battery. It's got a little red JST connector. But if you look carefully, you can actually get it in there quite easily. Black is to the outside. Black is to the outside, yeah. And you just pop that in there and it connects. And there we go. Our screen switches on. Our receiver blinks its uh, reception so we can see our screen works. And there we can see the middle button is for the brightness, contrast. So that's selecting where we want what. The next thing I want to test is the reception. I'm going to take the little mushroom antenna. Let me open that up. And take off this little protection hub. So we have our little reception connect, uh, antenna connected there. I'm going to connect power here. I'm going to bring my little Ishin racer closer and I am going to connect power on that. I already have the transmitting antenna connected here and I am going to connect power on that. Okay, I'm just going to put that one side a little. To change the channel, it cannot be done via this little panel. This panel only controls your brightness, your contrast, and your color. To change your actual channel here, you are going to have to open this up and below your little display there, just bring it a little closer and see if you can actually see it. There's this little white button. Now, currently the default well, normally would be 2A, 2A, as it shows there. Now, clicking that button repeatedly is going to browse through the channels. Okay, now I've gone through all the channels and we have not gotten a um, display yet. Now, to change it from A to B, C and D, you hold it down for about one and a half seconds. And there changes to B. Now I'm on one, channel 1. Push it again. Oh, almost. 3. There we go. And there we can see we have 
a display and now it is working so yes there we go our FPV display is working and we can select and change our channels and that is how you do that now that we've confirmed all the electronics are working we can actually go ahead and um, install everything the screen into the actual goggles to install the screen firstly we're going to remove these little metal tags on the inside which are connected to the magnets and then take the screen now bear in mind the screen actually does have a metal back so it might stick to the uh, magnets and fit it in onto the sponge at the bottom center it as much as possible and then bring it forward it might want to jump up but just center it onto those I'm going to just angle it up like that and we center it as much as we can there okay once you have it centered we bring in these little metal tags again and pop them onto the magnets I'm going to show you in a second how I have set mine now we don't want to push them too high otherwise they might interfere with the actual closing of the goggles so we bring them down just a little so that they will connect with a magnet but not interfere with the actual closing of the goggles here I have a little permanent marker and I am going to mark the position of those metal tags the bottom on that one and the side and the side and the bottom that way when I glue them in into their positions you can make them as long or as you like so that you can have the entire position but uh, that's up to you how you wish to mark them All right and uh, I'm going to glue that down with super glue and now because we are moving them this around quite a bit that is why you don't want to remove the screen protector right in the beginning and uh, I do have super glue around here somewhere now I am going to be using a true bond super glue and uh, obviously we don't need very much of this we just need a little stretch there on that side and a little stretch on this side there we go very little we just wanted to keep it down there and uh, I'm going to stick this one into its place and I'm going to drop that one into its place according to the marks that we made with a permanent marker and now we are going to give that a couple of minutes to dry because uh, with super glue you do not want to put it inside your goggles as soon as you feel it has gripped because it might leave a little more vapor that vapor actually may, uh, can attach itself to the lens and cause a little bit of a white mist so leave this for I would say a good 15 to 20 minutes to get it to stick on properly and to uh, disperse all of that vapor now that our super glue has really attached and uh, there's no um, residue etc or chances of uh, vapors uh, causing that little white smoke that we don't want we can go ahead and insert it into our goggles and there we go that is going to really keep it where it's supposed to be now the next thing we want to attach these buttons for when we want to adjust the uh, brightness etc okay, so we pull off this side okay and we put it in, in a position which is so that is everything in there now basically we can close it up now if we wish 
because my battery I am not going to be installing on the inside as some would suggest uh, I'm going to keep it to the outside and I've got the cable out of the side on here black to the bottom connected to the top here now remember because this is a receiver you can actually connect the battery before you have your antenna connected it's only with transmitters that you always make sure that you have your antenna connected before you attach power and uh, if we look inside here there we go there's our display now just to confirm that everything is still working I'm going to bring our little racer closer and I'm going to plug it in we should still be on the correct channel and there we go okay, it's working as expected 100% guys that is how incredibly simple this FPV goggle set is now once we've connected everything and confirmed everything is working and we are happy we can take out the screen again and now we can actually remove this protection screen now bear in mind that once you remove this protection screen you do not want to touch that screen again because it will clearly show any marks and there we go removed and there we go it's installed and we are ready to use our FPV goggles. That is how we set up these goggles.